So, you want to be a millionaire, but what does that even mean? And is it the right goal? Wanting to be a millionaire isn't a bad thing. It's a great goal to have. We just need to make sure it's combined with the right goal. So to be a millionaire on paper, you need four million pounds worth of property and debt of three million pounds because most buy to let mortgages will let you leverage at 75% loan to value. If you had one house worth 200,000 pounds, you could take a buy to let mortgage on that property up to 150,000 pounds. So we'd have 50,000 pounds worth of equity and £150,000 worth of debt. If we did that 20 times, eventually you get to 20 properties under your belt. That's £4 million worth of property, £3 million worth of good debt and that £1 million worth of equity to make you that millionaire. So great, you're that millionaire on paper. But what if your £4 million worth of property give you one pound per month in cash flow. You're a millionaire, but you're not really making any money and that's not great. However, that's also not realistic. So let's have a look at the numbers and see what four million pounds worth of property would actually give us in monthly income. I'm gonna go on Rightmove and look at some properties for sale. Let's go somewhere in the Midlands. How about Coventry? Now, I'm not advising you to go and invest in Coventry. I'm also not advising you to not go there. We always advise when we're here at Progressive that you invest in your area because you know that area best. You might get slightly cheaper properties up north, so you're going to need more of them. And if you're down south, you're probably going to get more expensive properties than in Coventry. But for the purpose of this video, let's go somewhere in the Midlands. So I've gone on to Right Move and I'm just scrolling through to look for some £200,000 properties because it makes us a nice easy number of needing 20 properties to get to 4 million. I'm also looking for properties that are two to three bed terraced houses or semi-detached. We're going to let them to families. They're going to be in good areas with good schools. So we're getting that lovely family sort of tenant in our properties and we're providing really good accommodation to people that need it. I found some three bed terraced houses for £200,000 on the market in the Coventry area. My next idea is to look at how much will they rent for because we need to look at the cash flow on them. So I'm going to pull up another right move tab and I'm going to use the same postcode but I'm just going to look at for properties for rent in that area. And we always use right move because it's the biggest online portal for properties for sale and for rent but you can use any of the other portals if you want to. Okay so we have found a three bed terraced house not too dissimilar to the one that we were looking at for purchase and that's renting for £1,100. I've also found a three bed house that's on the market for £1,250 per month and I found another three bed terrace for £1,100. So let's do the maths on that. We've got a £200,000 house. We're going to take out a 75% loan to value mortgage because that's what most lenders will allow us to go to. So we're going to times 200 by 75%. That gives us £150,000. That's the level of debt that we've got. We're going to take out around a 5% mortgage. So we're going to times our number by 5%. That gives us our annual mortgage amount. So to make that monthly, we're going to divide it by 12. Our mortgage is £625 per calendar month. We are going to take our £1,100 rent minus 625 and we've got roughly around 475 coming in each month. Now we're gonna have some cost on that. We might have some voids, we might have some maintenance. If we've recently renovated the property, we're unlikely to have much maintenance to do. If we're buying in a good family area, our voids are going to be very, very low. So we're gonna take our 475 pounds per month and times it by 20. That brings us to £9,500 a month income and we're going to have a little bit of costs on that and we're also going to have to pay some tax based on you on what tax you need to pay. So £4 million worth of property 
can bring us in just under £10,000 per month, which is a great amount. And most property investors are striving to get to that £10,000 a month figure. Yes, we'll have some cost on that. So we might actually get seven to £8,000 in our back pocket. But a £4 million portfolio, a million pounds worth of equity making you that millionaire also brings you in great cash flow per month so that you can live your life of freedom. So you at home might be thinking, Emerald, is this realistic? How can I get from zero properties to four million pounds worth of property? I have 100% faith that you can do this. If you've got zero properties, you're in the right place because you're getting educated and you're learning. Everybody starts from zero properties and they do one deal at a time to grow that portfolio. There's loads of different no money down techniques and you can also work with angel investors and joint venture partners to build your portfolio. And that's exactly what I did. If you surround yourself with the right network, build up your mindset and you choose the right education, you could build a four million pound portfolio in anywhere from 18 to 36 months from a standing start. Do you wanna stay on the same salary, stay where you're at, or do you wanna to decide to be that person that's bringing in close to 10,000 pounds per month so that you can go on the holidays that you want to and you can do all of the things that you want to do in your life? I know that you want to make this change because you're here on this YouTube channel with me and I want to help you get there. So the next step for you is to download the guide in the comments. And for everybody that downloads this guide, I'm gonna give you a free ticket to our next event where you can come and further your education and start that property journey so you can get to where you want to go. See you on the next one.